So we see basically AI being applied to every aspect of medicine. I'll give a, quick, a few quick examples. Uh, one is uh, just, just using AI for, for diagnosis, in particular with radiology and pathology, is already better than human doctors, in, not for, in general, but for specific illnesses. Uh, secondly, AI for drug discovery. Uh, we have an investment uh, called in silico medicine that has invented two drugs that are small molecule uh, drugs that can uh, basically cure uh, very difficult diseases like pulmonary uh, fibrosis and kidney fibrosis. And this is invented by AI, having read a lot of papers and clinical trial results, knowing how to pursue these. Uh, and and we're, we see even bigger opportunity with large molecule, potentially peptide drugs that humans have a hard time inventing that AI can do massive, high-volume, data-driven experiments and come up and propose drugs that have a much higher likelihood of passing clinical trial. So we're very excited about that. Uh, also, we're very excited about AI in robotics, uh, robotic surgery. You know, we, we know about the um, uh, intuitive surgical da Vinci, but we also see that uh, da Vinci is still operated by a human. And more and more of this will be done autonomously with higher uh, accuracy and safety. We've looked at um, areas like uh, tooth implant, uh, uh, ways of um, uh, doing eye, uh, basically eye-related um, surgery, and also uh, spinal surgery, all performing better than, than, than doctors. So that's another area. And uh, advanced medical devices are outputting digital signals, right? PCR and uh, genetic sequencing. This is all data that's digital and can be accumulated. Of course, one trick is, you know, human data, data privacy is an issue. 